in yet another government-orchestrated operation targeting the faith-based Gulen movement, popularly known as the Hizmet movement, the police carried out raids with inspectors from several ministries and institutions early on Wednesday at private schools established by volunteers of the movement in Adana. The schools inspired by the movement were also similarly raided by the police along with inspectors in March. Some of the inspectors accompanied by several police officers who went to inspect three Burke colleges on Wednesday were from the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Food, Agriculture and Animal Husbandry, the Health Ministry's Adana Provincial Directorates, the Ministry of Education and the Social Security Institution, SGK. According to the Sahan News Agency, none of the hundreds of inspectors were able to explain their reasons for inspecting the schools with police. Bilal T, the Adana representative of the Zayman Daily, described those who organized the raids as tyrants that spend all their energy organizing raids of schools, while terrorists are all around the country, from his Twitter account on Wednesday. Burke School's general manager Sultan Sozari previously said the raids that took place in March aimed to create a negative image of the school. Emphasizing that the schools will not be adversely affected by the raids, Sozari said, I know that parents who see the scene will be more willing to send us their children. Salamat Sen, a lawyer representing the Fem Prep schools and private Samanyalo schools in Eskisahir, which were also raided by police from the Anti-Smuggling and Organized Crime Bureau with inspectors from eight institutions on July 31, announced that they have filed a criminal complaint against the authorities that organized the raids. Main Opposition Republican People's Party CHP, Parliamentary Group Deputy Chairman Levant GOK pointed out that no evidence implicating the schools in criminal activities was found in the inspections. These operations, which have no legal or legitimate basis, must be stopped at once, GOK stated. It's clear that a campaign to discredit these schools has started because it's school registration in Turkey. The government has no right to discredit anyone. What the government should be doing now is fighting terrorism in the country. That's the top priority for the government, GOK added. Sen stated that raiding these schools constitutes hate crimes and discrimination because they target institutions inspired by the Gulen movement. Commercial activities of institutions that are systematically being inspected are hindered because of the political views and philosophical beliefs of the people who founded and supported them the raided schools. The actions of the public officials constitute the crime of wrongful conduct. We filed a criminal complaint against those who are related to the raids that took place in Fem Prep schools and private Semanyalo schools. Dozens of inspectors coupled with at least 300 police officers from smuggling and organized crime units raided Gulen-inspired schools and prep schools in the central Turkish town of Aksaray on Tuesday. The raids are part of a nationwide crackdown on institutions and individuals sympathetic to the Gulen movement. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan accused the Gulen movement of orchestrating a graft investigation against him and his inner circle. The Gulen movement denies the charges. Since the allegations surfaced nearly two years ago, the authorities have escalated raids, shutting down or defaming institutions or individuals close to the movement.